Hi everyone, in this session we are going to make a simple debug panel for our application C sharp application. For this we are going to add one panel over here and then we are going to make the background color to black, font color to white and we are going to change the font size to 14 and uh, flat style uh, and then we are going to change the name I will call it debug uh, title uh, title change the dock position to top And then I will change the size height of the this panel to 60. Okay, now we have this panel, and then I will change. Uh, I will add one label. Or instead of this label, you just delete this one, and then just copy this. Uh, Control C, Control V. This label. We are going to you use the same type of label over here also but in this we are going to change the name of the label I will call it and live debug something like this or we just only we will use only live or here like like this and we will place it in the center of the pan panel okay after that we need another one for footer we need a panel for footer okay this time I will set the background color to this dark gray and then I will change the dock dock position to bottom and then I will give a size to 60 60 something like this and now we are going to add another panel inside of for the text box we're gonna use the text box but before we use text box we need to make a panel for it you can name it the panel if you want but I will uh, name it a debug panel debug underscore panel and then I will uh, choose the dock I will use select the background to transparent and then we are going to set the dock position to fill we are going to select the center one okay now we have this okay now we have our our panel here and now we are going to add one text box over here we need one text box I will select rich text box rich text box and then I will change this uh, to the name I will change the text box name to debug live debug live dot txt no txt only debug live txt and then i will i will also dock this to the center to fill the panel and then we are going to change the background color i will choose a dim gray uh, or maybe 
we just only make it black I think it's better to make it black okay black color and then for, for color we are going to use a till color for for, uh, for, uh, for text color we are going to use till color and then another thing <coughs> another thing we are going to do is to to make the border style to none and then the f f uh, font size we are going to change the font size to tw uh, to to 10 font size to 10 and okay we are going to also change the footer footer color to black something like this and now uh, uh, font size is, is 10 I think yes 10 okay now we are going to set another uh, scroll property of the text rich text box we will make it uh, vertical and uh, for the moment we don't have any text but we are going to paste hello world something like this hello world okay one thing uh, uh, we have now the text box and the label we have to change the, the button names like uh, this button names we are going to change the button names and also we are going to make a mouse uh, we did the mouse over effect we are going to change the name of these buttons right now we are going to change all the button name for this we are going to select uh, each of this button and then we are going to change the name the first one is email reader we are going to call it email btn and the second one we are going to media player btn media player btn the third one we are going to use a uh, tax reader btn tax reader btn and the fourth one and the fourth one we are going to use a uh, uh, news reader btn fourth is web like this change all the names weather btn and web web reader btn and then web search search web search web btn and the last one is setting btn settings something like this now we ha we have all the names of the buttons now as you can see over here uh, there is we need a padding between our text uh, text box we need a padding between our borders of our text box for this we are going to create uh, manually uh, like we are, we are going to type a script 
uh, my uh, our text box name debug debug life txt dot selection uh, we are going to use selection indent indent and then we are going to pass uh, 20 something like this and let's save it and then we are going to start debugging now you can see over here is there there is a padding 20 pa uh, there is a padding over here 20 pixels uh, to the uh, left side and 20 pixel to the right side now that's how we can make a padding inside of our rich text box okay after that i think we done with this all uh, with the layout for the moment we done uh, we did uh, the things for layout we are going to start our application uh, to build uh, new forums for for email reader media player text reader news reader weather reader web reader and web search we are going to make this uh, panels uh, with these forums okay see you in next session